Look, guys, Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 is a fantastic season. There are so many great things about it, but what is really lacking is the augments. I don't love the augments this season, so what a perfect time to upload this video. I asked you guys in the Discord to come up with your own augment ideas, and I did not realize how many people came up with augments, so we're definitely not taking a look at all of them. I thought it'd be a good idea to take the first 30, and we're going to make this a little bit of a series in concept time. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels and welcome back to Concept Time, which I believe you can call Concept Time, right? We're going to take a look at the first 30 augment ideas that you guys came up with in the server. And if this ends up being somewhat of a short video, the next series of videos that we do will be longer and longer and longer. With that being said, let's get into it. And in the pinned comment description down below, you can find the discord if you have an augment idea that you would like to submit for the next video starting off the first one chosen one get anakin's lightsaber and every time you kill a player you get 50 hp shield and siphon i actually really like that for chosen one and the name for it is just absolutely perfect get anakin's lightsaber every time you kill a player you get 50 hp shield and siphon here's a really interesting one item manager get an extra inventory slot i actually never really thought about this one I never thought about having more items in general. I think that would be a really, really cool augment idea. Let me know if you guys think this one would be broken at all. Would everybody use it? Because especially on controller, I would feel like it'd be weird to scroll through things. I don't know if, like, it would definitely take some getting used to to have an extra inventory slot, but I don't know if this is something that people would like, but it's definitely very, very interesting. Flying with style. This augment grants you a jetpack with limited fuel and a stack of shockwave grenades. Oh, that would be really cool, actually. If it'd be cool if they grant you a jetpack and it doesn't take up an inventory slot, even if it does, it doesn't really matter. Flying with style is a really cool augment idea. Next up, chiller. When you break an opponent's shield, they have an ice effect for a short duration. Does not apply to overshield. I like that little touch there. But that's an interesting. Could you imagine shooting somebody or breaking someone's shield and then they have to like start sliding all over the place? That'd be really useful for fighting people in the storm, get them off of you. Maybe have them stuck in there and die again. They won't be able to build if you play build mode. It's a good idea. Runner up. Sprinting is 20% faster, but energy depletes 20% faster. That would be, hmm, that's an interesting one because that would give you like really no time to run. But then again, if it's 20% faster, that's like significant. And I, I like that idea. I don't know if that's something I would end up using because... 20% faster, but depletes 20% faster. It would definitely have its uses. Very interesting idea. Oathbound Warrior grants a guardian shield and a shockwave hammer. I love this. And guys, can I just say, I love the names you're coming up with these so far. It's so good. Like, my brain does not work like this. I don't know if I'd be able to come up with these augment ideas. Grants a guardian shield and shockwave hammer. I would absolutely love this augment. Munitions Master grants a clip of each ammo every storm circle movement. Okay, so that would, that would be like a nice augment that would just help you out here and there, especially. I don't imagine people picking this one too often if it were in the game but it depends i guess it, it grants a clip of each ammo this would be really helpful in early games if you have a lot of fighting going on if you were dropping like a lot of people were dropping at tilted which doesn't exist right now so it'd be it would have its uses but i don't know if many people will really be using that one alien arsenal this is so my concept this is so my augment grants a chimera ray gun and a grabatron i would pick this one every single time that it comes up. I don't care. I would probably roll for it. Lou wasting all my gold. The Gravitron is one of the most fun weapons in Fortnite history. If not the most fun weapon in Fortnite history. And I love the Chimera Ray Gun. I know a lot of people didn't use that one. But still. Such a good augment for me. Slurpee Supplements. All meds heal twice as fast. As well as their outputs be doubled. That's actually a really, really interesting one. Because especially if you want to use something like Medkit or Band-Aid. Something that's really slow. This would be very helpful. Mythic Mayhem. And this one's very interesting, mate. I like it. Gives you a random Mythic collab or non-collab in your inventory. This Mythic is only obtainable as a third or fourth augment during late game. That is very interesting. And the, uh, the Thanos glove is in there. Could you imagine just having an augment? It'd be really cool if that was like a thing where you could just like... It, it was like not a Mythic Goldfish where it was one in a million. But like maybe once in like a thousand or something. You'll get the Infinity Gauntlet because that's something so powerful. That would be incredible. Insurance plan. Places a shield bubble over teammates. You're reviving. Oh, that's an interesting one. That would be really, really helpful. I can see a lot of people using that one. Starry skies. Uh oh, I can already see this one. Creates a large circle in your area where loot stars fall from the sky for a limited time. I would use this so much. It would just be so nostalgic for starry suburbs. We only got to play it with a couple weeks, man. I would love to have that as an augment. Just have the, lo the loot stars come down. I would even run the season X loadout that I used to run. Oh. That'd be great. Oh, and maybe I'll like this one more. Extraterrestrial Enthusiast. Spawns a UFO for your team and gives you a railgun in your inventory with a chance to find ray gun and chess. Oh my god. This one would be a little broken, not gonna lie. It'd be, it's an interesting idea having 
a vehicle come with an augment. I never really thought of that. Maybe there could be an augment one day where it's like a shopping cart or something. Something like that's not a UFO. You know what I mean? Unless you want to spawn the UFO, you could like make it towards a story where there's a crashed UFO somewhere. I don't know. Just a thought where it's like, hey, this UFO only has 200 health. I would like that actually. Regardless, I, I don't mind overpowered myself. I'm just thinking like what if it was actually in the game? I'd be down for it. Copycat. After eliminating an opponent, you change their outfit for a limited time. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could like change their outfit and then get rid of your name so other people couldn't see so you could still act like you're on their team even though it would like be a little bit difficult. But it might be able to fool some people. I, I like that one. Loop reset. Earn 25 kills to create a black hole and win the game. A Fortnite version of the game ending nuke from MW2. That's really interesting. The, just imagine that thing spawning in. I don't, def, people definitely, I'm not going to lie, dude, I'm not going to lie, people wouldn't really like this, but I would be down to see it, I would like look at it, oh my god, someone actually got 25 kills, that's insane, like, you know, I would like that, but I don't know about 25, I don't know about 25, maybe like 30 or 35, you could make it like an unfriggin' believable in Halo, is that, is that 35 or 40, I believe it's 40, I know, I think it should be like impossible to obtain, but honestly, I would truthfully be down to see this in the game. Dire Senses allows you to see enemies' footprints and hear enemies better from further away during night. Especially during night. That's a man. I don't. I hope I'm not repeating myself, but these augments are like such a good. They're such good ideas. They're interesting. I like that. Yeah, that would be really helpful too. Especially if like it's one person on the team that could hear people from further away. I like that. All Seeing Eye allows your team to see enemy name tags for a nine second duration. Take it from your concept. A nine second duration to see all to see enemies t name tags. That's a very interesting idea. That would be very helpful, especially for end game. Hunting Master. When you are riding wildlife, you receive thermal vision. That's oh my god. That's an interesting one for especially for a hunting master. I kind of like that, but uh, unfortunately. The boars and all the wildlife have been vaulted right now, especially except for chickens. Like, what's going on, Epic? Bring back the raptors. Heat proof. Become immune to fire damage and reduces lava damage. Oh, the lava damage. I like that. Fire being immune to fire damage is very interesting. You can walk around with a bunch of fireflies, just light stuff up and be able to walk through it. That would be actually a low-key useful augment that I can see. Like, I can see people just skipping this one, and then I'm strolling in with all the fireflies, just lighting things up, walking through, shotgunning people in the face. This one, I would absolutely love. Most Wanted. You receive a Mythic Scar and 200 bars, but you also get a bounty on yourself that lasts for the whole game. Bar price for eliminating you is tripled as well. Okay, that's interesting. You receive a Mythic Scar and 200 bar bars. To have a bounty on yourself the entire game is quite the downside. But it is kind of worth it. You get a Mythic Scar and 200 bars, and then you even get more gold. For the people who spend a lot of gold, they would absolutely love to use this. I have two versions for this. Extra Defense. You gain up to 50 additional shield. B. Receive an Overshield in Build Mode. 50 extra Overshield in Build Mode. That's interesting. That's interesting, especially if we could recharge, right? I kind of like the B version, but then again, you could just put A if you are in zero build. I, I, I kind of like that. That's interesting, especially like... If you, it, I, I'm always down to have like overshield type stuff, especially because like, hey, you never know if this person has like extra health and you get into the fight with the wrong guy, you know what I mean? It changes the fight, so you never know if somebody has regular health or if they happen to have the overshield augment. It would change the fights for the better, in my opinion, because it makes things different. I like this augment. It's an interesting idea, especially in build mode. The Chosen One. Get 8 plus kills to unlock the Zapatron. Oh my god, could you imagine if this is the way they end up bringing back the Zapatron? I feel like it would need to be a little bit more than 8 kills, though. I feel like this is something that you need to get, like, 20. But then again, that would probably be towards end game. So, I don't know. Interesting idea. But then again, the Zapatron isn't, like, a ridiculous weapon like you're getting the Thanos gauntlet. The gauntlet. Actually, this might be a good way to do it. I would say like maybe 15. Perky persists. All perks from one match will be automatically equipped. Next match minus perky persistent. Okay. That's an interesting idea. Per all perks from one match will automatically be equipped next match. So you'll have a ch you'll have like a huge advantage at the start of next game with augments. I don't know how fair this one would be. But I don't have a problem with it. It's interesting like you could also have an augment where you could like bring like maybe. I don't know about. Here's the thing. I don't know about all perks. Maybe you could choose like. The perk that you choose last in your inventory slot to come into the next match. But then again, like, if, or Epic has teased the idea before with the tents being able to, like, take stuff out in the following game. But then they took that out. I don't know. I don't know how. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's definitely an interesting idea. The Golden Touch. Every weapon in your inventory becomes mythical. 0.01 chance of getting this augment. Basically how the Midas Flopper worked. I love that. 
Okay, I love that that's a rare myth, that that is a very rare augment too. I think they should have more augments like this, honestly. And I still miss the Midas Flopper. Why is that not a thing anymore? Make it a 1 in a 100 time to catch in the water. And the Mythic Goldfish. I'm upset about it, but still, that's a really cool augment. Lightning Rod. When you're near a lightning storm, you have greatly increased chance of being struck by lightning. In addition, the effect lasts longer and you won't be damaged by it. Oh man, I come on. Like, this would be so cool to have this type of stuff if they had weather back in the game. Like, come on, Epic, man. The clouds and the thunderstorms in the game were some of the most fun that I've ever had. That's something that I want to play in Creative 2.0. Bring the weather back. That's a whole conversation for another time. My apologies. But if the weather is in the game a lot, then this would be very useful. Firebender, become immune to fire and gain six firefly jars. So it's like another concept that we took a look at earlier, except this time you get six firefly jars. And I kind of like that. Honestly, you get the six fire, the firefly jars along with it. Firebender is an interesting name. I like that. Munitions expert enables you to side grade your weapon. Side grading is something that I've missed in Fortnite for so long long guys i like that idea and then you could just have it like the same system if i want to charge shotgun i'll take like a pump if i want a heavy ar i'll just take a scar you know what i mean this would be awesome it gives you the ability to side grade your weapons and it'll be perfect for an augment because people don't really use side grading that much but then again you could, that's an argument for being in the game you just like it doesn't hurt to be there you know what i mean capable companion spawns a random mythic boss to fight for you oh my god could you imagine that'd be awesome you could have darth vader come in meow skulls midas who was a really intimidating boss like the mandalorian was a little bit hard to kill but i don't know sometimes the mandalorian just like beamed you sometimes he didn't that'd be really cool who was a really hard bite like dr doom that would be hilarious. I would love this one. Uncalled for. Gain health and shield while emoting on a downed enemy. Oh my god, this is the augment for me. This along with the alien one where I get a Gravitron. Oh my god, I could dance on them and then I could use the Gravitron to like stomp on them with a stone. <laughs> I love this one. Expert Hider. When you don't do anything for 5 seconds, you turn into a prop. Oh my god, I like that one. I don't know about 5 seconds, maybe like 10 seconds. I would use this so much instead of just like having to find an NPC. That'd be so useful for like reboot vans. That'd be so useful for hiding. I would really like that one. There's so many good augments, guys. And I don't know how long we've been recording, but that's all the augments that we're going to do for today. As always, guys, if you have an augment idea that you would like to share, pin comment Discord down below. And we're going to continue this series because I didn't realize how many augment ideas you guys actually had. And we'll see how long this video, this video ends up being. I'll end up judging the next video length and according to this video. So, guys... Thank you so much for participating. Your augment ideas were fantastic. I wish I had brains like you guys were the sense where you could come up with these amazing, amazing augments. And all of like the names for them were great too. It was great. Thank you so much for sharing, guys. If you're interested in the Concept Time playlist, I will have one of the videos from Concept Time where we take a look at different concepts from the Fortnite community. It will be on screen right now for you. Also, under it will be a Creative 2.0 video that you need to watch before Creative 2.0 releases. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.